have us out the vegetables. OK, here's the deal. You're going to boil the water and you're going to boil the food. But you're going to do it with the lid screwed down tight under pressure with a pressure escape valve. Food cooks twice as fast. Things called a pressure cooker makes boring food. And 200 years later solves another French crisis about drink. In this case, beer. And why isn't French beer as good as German beer? This national disaster becomes an obsession for the paranoid French chemist Louis Pasteur, who back in 1864 is doing what Frenchmen usually do, drinking wine, which he discovers to be bad, well, gone bad. So since he's been doing tests in his lab on why food goes mouldy and has seen many little bugs down his microscope, he decides that these little bugs, he calls them germs, get into the food from the air. This after he's done tests leaving food lying around. Pasteur takes his bugs and submits them to every known torture, boiling up, chilling down, sealing in jars, you name it. One approach to killing the little bug seems to work best of all, heat. So he tries the same trick with the wine. He cooks it at 55 degrees centigrade. You can hear the wine buffs all over France harumphing. Boiled wine? Mon Dieu! However, at a later wine tasting, they can't tell which wine has been boiled and which hasn't. So that's OK. And it solves the problem. No more bad wine. In 1870, France has a war with Germany and loses. And Pasteur's idea of revenge is to make French beer better than German beer. As part of the process, he's looking at why beer goes bad in summer and, guess what, discovers those little bugs again. So he tries the same boiling trick and does to beer what he previously did to wine. Why didn't he think of it first time round? Don't ask me. Anyway, we call what he did pasteurizing, and today we do it to milk products. And in hospitals, to surgical instruments. In machines not a million miles away from that thing Papin invented. Remember the pressure cooker? In medical circles known as an autoclave. 